Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at NVIDIA, AMD, SMCI, ARM, Broadcom, Micron, QQ and SPY. So full package on the semiconductors with the market. So to begin right away with NVIDIA, we are seeing a sell-off, a deep sell-off and it has gone through some of the levels that what we talked about over the weekend that if we start to lose that may give it some sideways action for coming days right now now yesterday's price action so let's take a little bit of a recap here yesterday's price action was a really nice one above 136 dollars now because short sellers were piling up over here so that was a really uh counter move to see against the short sellers that bulls were taking them out and squeezing them now before we go further, I want to also show you the short volume person because yesterday we didn't have high short sellers come in, which tells you that short sellers were not coming in. Today's data will, will come in the evening, we'll get to see then. But yesterday, not much high short volume person, the only 20, very little, that's like very little on NVIDIA. And prior to yesterday, we had the last week, like last for the three days, consecutively 34 34 32 that's quite huge so as we know of yesterday short sellers didn't pile that much all right that tells you that yesterday's squeeze was also related to the they mostly covering their position and then also um momentum bar stepping in however though today junior trader we are crashing we are falling is this time to short is are we bearish now is that's the thing is this losing it's all the ground now so let's dissect that level by level price action by price action so let's go to the hourly in well before going to the hourly interval the very box of 130 dollars is where we are finding that bounce right and this is a strong level like overall though in the direction that nvidia is in which is to the upside yes this is a cool off today but overall direction that nvidia is in as long as we still close above 130, technically we are not in the downward direction. 20 days moving average is also coming in from underneath as a support. And these are the zones of previous support. Now, oh sorry, previous resistance now acting as previous, now acting as a support. And you can see as for right now, we're getting bought back up. But for intraday, right? Yes, it was a cool off play. And how do we even know that? So if I go to the hourly interval, and if I turn on my easy day and swing trading tool, you can see we opened up red today, guys. We opened up red, continue to sell off, continue to remain red in the structure, right? Like this is how it will look like without my tool. And this is how it looks like with my tool. It tells you everything, the structure that, okay, it's a bearish structure intraday, right? And we just plummeted lower. We also actually have lost the cloud, all right? Now, yes, this rebound is coming at that very level of 130, but that's just a rebound. So take whatever you can, right? But that's just a rebound. At this point, though, if you have a swing position, more profit should be taken, partial profit should be taken because the way it has lost, because the thing is that if you know over the weekend, this was the zone I was talking about, right? Uh, the zone of 133, 132 to 133. We have lost that as well. And you can see, as we are rebounding as well, this is where we are rejecting as well now again. The thing is that there is a likelihood NVIDIA may a little bit now go sideways or slow down. All right. It's not breaking all time highs anymore. I think this week we'll see. But it all comes down to if NVIDIA closes below 133 area, the zone, we may have persistence of the problem. If we can somehow close above $133 there can be still life left in nvidia to continue in the con coming days as well to the upside so it all comes down to that but as for the levels 130 is giving it some bounce now let's see how nvidia closes the day if it closes uh, below 133 132 dollars level it's a continuous problem if we close above that there is still some chance but we as i showed you on the hourly interval we just turned negative right and also uh, we have a supply zone here we also have a lower pivot 
So eventually, once we get more clarity, uh, this would be somewhere like uh, in, this is the zone that may give it some another resistance. We'll see, we'll see a pivot soon. Don't you worry. This is this is not a pivot. This is more like a start pivots. I, I like to follow the trend. Well, no, sorry. This is a pivot. But what I'm saying is that there's still a lower pivot, lower highs. We have lost a lower pivot as well here. So it does making a lower low. What I'm saying is that the trend line is not yet fully formed, in my opinion. We'll see where that rebound starts to a little bit reject, and then we'll have a proper trend line. This, this is not a proper trend line to follow. This is uh, just too gentle. Too, we we need a little bit in the middle. It's it's just not this 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 angle of the trend line is usually a bull flag, and this is not a bull flag because this pivot is not matching anymore with the lower pivot, right? So this is not a uh, channel or trend line to follow we'll have to wait for another pivot to form in other words lower high which will be which possibly could be in this zone 134 and 78 cents area and but it all comes down i want to see what it does around this area though right if we can close above 133 there's chance that we can form again a pivot just because i'm seeing amount of consolidation here previously right but otherwise uh no right now yes the way nvidia has turned itself around today a little bit also on a huge sell-off volume that um, yeah i mean it's, it's no surprise if you have access to my tools you already knew it this is a downside day period right um and yeah it's it's a bearish day all right now so that's that on nvidia for the day um yeah so 130 overall direction look yes if though i'm saying slowness can happen right and that's where that you know sideways action would come in play but on the swing side is it confirmed short for the long term no no that's this area is still holding 130 right we have 20 days moving average so now the thing is that yes it's a tug of war that's going to happen between bulls and the bears all right so that's that all right, let's take a look at AMD. So AMD, no surprise, this is something I was already mentioning. We are slowing down. Let me show you my easy dance swing trading tool. We are already becoming red and cooling off and then structure is also breaking to the downside. And on the hourly interval is where the game on this one is. So I told you that yesterday, we stay below 200 hours moving average, just a you know downside game. And yeah, it's still, it's just going down guys. Rebounds are just are still also a downside game. This is a as long as now we stay below 161 and 79 cents. Any rebound is just a rebound. That's it. And even we are now below the next level 115 and 25 cents. It's just bearish right now. SMCI and SMCI is still holding its base down there. You know, uh, it's not that reactive like other stocks today, but it's still getting bought back up down there. I'm telling you, it's still in the bullish structure. All right. And this blue box down here, 43 and 50 cents below that, it has to be a stop loss for this bullish play. The next move, the big next move will be above this uh, $50 range. That will open up the door to $60 almost. So that's that. Yeah. All right. That's SMCI. Let's take a look at ARM because ARM is selling off as well. Right. Now, it did go to the next level, 163 and 71 cents. Uh, technically, yeah, it's a deeper pullback. It's a very bad deeper pullback. Um, structure overall, though, is still bullish on this thing. But yes, it's a deeper pullback. You should be sizing in, si oh, sorry, sizing out position, whatnot. And if you are looking to size in, that's down here with the stop loss on the other side. But do we have that confirmation? You'll have to look at the price section at the lower time frame for that using my tools, like, or on five minutes interval, things like that. So here's the thing what I expect is when we have such a deeper sell off, yes, some rebound is possible, but that will just be a rebound for now, right? Um, yeah, so yeah, it, it has uh, a, yeah, the good move that came and today, yeah, losing some of the pivots already. Let's see how it closes, but if it stays below 20 and 50 hours moving average as well, that continues to remain a problem. Um, but yeah, overall though, it's still technically still in the upward structure, okay? So overall, 
right overall yeah but let's see it all also comes down to if we can get above 150 to 137 cents but yeah it's a it's a sell-off day on arm as well broadcom also a sell-off day um so yeah all semiconductors are a little bit uh dodgy today and once yeah we lost 177 and 18 cents area and also we lost the above blue box we i do think we have a negative structure on broadcom again yeah we have a red structure on this the thing is that with this one though there is a little bit of a loss of a pivot here that's where the problem is 177 and 8 cents area yeah uh we i think also have a lower pivot on the daily interval yeah broadcom as it continues to stay below that 180 38 cents or even 177 and 36 cents area is just bearish even on the overall structure it can remain negative yeah yep i think we are going gonna go through the cool offs uh yeah it lost 200 hours moving average as well yeah there is no point in looking upside on broadcom if we continue to stay below this 177 and 30 cents area so all right that's that and micron so micron also uh is doing a pull is, is it just i would say it's a pullback though in the overall structure right now yeah it's just a pullback today on the overall structure it's just a pullback it's still technically holding higher pivots um, but yeah you would see the you know damage though on the hourly interval yeah because once we start to lose some levels right it's important that we don't fully we regain them either by the end of the day if micron can still close above 104 and 58 cents today for the end of the day it's it should be fine but we'll have to wait if it continues to form uptrend or yeah because technically once we'll start to lose the higher highs higher lows of the previous uh, ongoing momentum we have to establish a new momentum otherwise there's a chance we can form lower pivots as well so if any lower pivot would form that will be at 106 and 52 cents area with the rebound and then potentially a lower pivot we'll see but overall it's still fine but i would say if you had the position, uh, you should be taking partial profits just when we started to lose these areas, right? Like even 50 hours moving average and so forth. All right, let's go to SPY and QQQ now and let's see what's going on with them. SPY, oh well guys, it's just a little pullback on this thing. Yeah, it's, it's just a little pullback, it's still bullish. Still bullish, it's just a little, little bit pullback because I just showed you semiconductors are selling off. You would see on the tech side though some more of a sell-off. So QQ. QQ is in the little bit deeper sell-off. It came back down to that blue box. Uh, there's a little bit of a prob. Well, okay, it's above 20 days moving average. With Nasdaq and SPY, one red candle in my opinion would not change much. Yes, we have a sell-off today, but I still think QQQ overall is still fine it's still in the bullish structure here as well yeah it is and yeah it is still in the bullish structure yeah i would want to see it lose that tiny blue box down there let's go to the hourly interval to see more what possibly could happen um let me actually extend this out well if it closes above 493 and 69 cents it's still fine if we close below it there is a problem but that's the level if if more upside has to come we have to get above 493 and 72 cents look it's it's not is yes intraday it's a downside play but overall structure is not swing bearish all right just keep that in mind yes it's a cool off day it's a pullback day intraday yes it's a downside day all right so that's that so at these points places you have to see if the price is on the lower time frame is the structure turning bullish and the rebound starts to happen i would highly suggest that it get above one of the you know significant level as well um but yeah that would be that so that's it for this video guys um if you found it helpful valuable please hit the likes and subscribe if you need access to my tools links are in the description below and with that i'll see my next video all right bye